Hey folks, Patrick Walsh Woods here. How you doing today? Beautiful day out. It's about minus 15, maybe minus 20 with the wind chilled. Sun's up high, so it should get a lot warmer. Just out for a quick video today. Just wanted to try out my new sawhorse. Now you're probably familiar with this type of sawhorse. Uh, a gentleman by TA Outdoors has one exactly like it, as in that's the original design where I saw it. I thought that was a fantastic idea, especially for my camp and my needs. So I knocked one up the other day by myself, and I didn't really get a chance to try it. The sun was coming down and it was getting cold and I was getting hungry so I headed home. So today I'm back out and I'm gonna cut some wood basically just to try and see how she does overall in terms of uh, stability and how it handles. So it's a pretty sturdy design so I'm hoping it'll work out really well. So I'm gonna run over get the sawhorse and start cutting some wood and we'll go from there. Talk to you soon. Sawhorse worked out really great. Um, it's not perfect. It's a little warped in certain spots, and I think it's because I'm using some fresh wood with some kind of dead wood, so the shrinkage is tugging it in different directions. Overall, it's still really stable. It does exactly what I needed to do, which is fantastic. Uh, these support beams that are going diagonally really give it a lot of support. These cross beams here are great as well because they can put your foot down, stabilize it and get a really good push on the saw as you're going through the log. Um, these are a little too high. I might trim them off a little bit. They uh, seem to protrude too much. And the only other real defect that I see that I wasn't happy with, but I, I can live with, is that these V's are not at the same level. But that's okay because I'm not a perfectionist and it doesn't need to be. It just needs to support a log on two points at any given time so that I can saw through it. So again, this design is from TA Outdoors. Check out his channel, makes a lot of great videos. Um, this one is a little bigger, a little more robust in a different way because I actually used nails instead of uh, twine, which is what he, well, I think he used um, baling twine, I believe. Uh, so it's a little more robust in that way, but the reality is it's the same function. So it may be a touch bigger, but nothing special. It's super light, really easy to carry around the camp, move around to meet your needs. If you have any questions, please send them along. Definite thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.